A reinvigorated permanent exhibition has recently opened at his birthplace, Blenheim Palace. Designed to provide insight into both his public and private life, we went to find out what's new. Well, the whole presentation of the exhibition is completely new and, and totally refurbished. We have some new items on display that have never been on display before at Blenheim. Um, but also we have a few um, technological gizmos that we've never had before. So in the room that is dedicated to his art and his literature, um, we have on um, a touch screen uh, various books that he wrote and you can move the page as if you were moving the page of a proper book and it will turn the page and you can read what he wrote. So we, we have some nice touches like that. Most people who've done a basic history of the Second World War at Blenheim know that he was Prime Minister during the Second World War. They may know a little bit about his career beforehand. But what people probably don't know is the family connection here. So the whole point of this exhibition within the framework of his career and his life is to point out all the connections with Blenheim and the family here. So while the exhibition has a clear emphasis on highlighting Churchill's connection to Blenheim Palace, we asked what makes him still relevant today. Our history is what makes the great in Great Britain. And without people like Churchill, and indeed his great ancestor, Lord Marlborough, the first Duke of Marlborough, Britain wouldn't be the country it is today. It's relevant because um, Churchill definitely was the leader who got us through the war. Without him, who knows where we would be today, whether we'd still have our freedom. I know he famously said, history will be kind to me because I'll write it. And um, indeed he did write an enormous amount of history. But his works, his history of the First World War and the Second World War, nobody can hold a candle to them. They're absolutely amazing and it, the, the depth of knowledge that he has. And also, wherever you go, in the world, somebody will quote a Churchillism at you. So he is still very much part of our lives, even if you don't realise you're actually quoting Churchill. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duties, and so bear ourselves that if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour. This is Kate Deban for Brooks TV.